Hi, I would like to use the scientific calculator now to help us check the answers. And the scientific calculator that I recommend is this one. It's the Casio FX115ES, and this is the plus version. Okay, so this is the newer version. This is a scientific calculator um, that has the natural display feature. Okay, what it means by that is you can now just enter whatever you see on the paper onto the calculator and the calculator can work out the water operations um, for you to check the answers. So, turn on the calculator and let's do a few of these questions. So let's see, for, for this question, I have 83 minus 20, sorry, 84 minus 23 times two plus two. So you can just enter exactly what you see right here. Start by 84, okay, 84, and then minus, so this is the subtraction, this is the minus, minus, and then we have the 23, multiply by 2, and then plus 2. And what you want to do is just hit the equal right here. Okay. And once you hit the equal, then you'll see that the answer is 40. Okay. So you can just get uh, the answers right here, like immediately. And um, it's really powerful. Uh, sometimes gets slightly complicated and let me just work out some of these examples here number six we have six parentheses five um, sorry six parentheses 57 minus 53 parentheses two the second power I mean the second power okay so what you want to do is is enter exactly what you see right here six I have the parentheses so here is the parentheses Open the parentheses and then put 57 in there. Subtract 53. Close parentheses and now I need to get to the second power. You have two ways to do that. Since second power is like so popular, so useful, <laughs> and there's a key for that. If you just hit the x to the second power, then you see that you have the 2 right there and that's exactly the second power. Okay? And you see, this is, exactly, this is exactly what you have on the paper. And once you enter that, once you put equal, then you get 96. And you can just get the answer right away. But do not just do this for the homework. When you're doing the homework, make sure you really work out the word of operations. Use this to check the answers for you. Okay? Now, let's see. Um, next one. We have a fraction. Right? We have 18 plus 24 over 9 minus 2. And when you have a fraction, you need to come up with a fraction first. And this is the fraction key. So you see now this is like the cleared version. Once you hit the fraction key, it allows you to enter whatever you have on the top. And then we can just move the bottom to enter whatever that we have on the bottom. So let's take care of the top first. We have 18 plus 24. So 18 plus 24. Then, we need to move this thing, the cursor, down to the bottom. Okay, so You need to press this button, the down button. Then you see that that the cursor um, went down to the denominator. And then we can just continue by um, putting down 9 minus 2 equal. And we have the answer 6. Okay. Continue, 94 minus 10 times 2 to the third power. Um, 94 minus 10. And the dot right here, this is not the decimal. This is meant to be the multiplication. So multiply, and we have 2 to the third power. 2 to the third power. So enter the 2 first. And this is how you can get the exponents, any exponents. Here is the exponent key. You see that you have the x, which is like a box to the top right corner. So if you enter that, it allows you to put any exponent that you want. 2 to the whatever exponent that you want. So this is more general. This button is only good for the squares to the second power. Okay? And of course, you can also use the x to the third power. But um, I want to show you guys the x to the third power. x to the box um, here. I just need to enter the 3 into the box. And then exactly what I have. 
except that you have the multiplication multiplication cross instead of the multiplication dot. I get fourteen. Number fifteen. Let's go through this quickly. Fifty four minus parentheses eighteen minus two parentheses minus thirteen. Just like that. Nice and easy. And we get twenty five. And let's look at number eighteen. Okay. So this is how you clear or you can just press the AC. Doesn't matter. So number 18, we have 4, the dot means to multiply, multiply by 38 minus, this is the minus, and this is the negative, I'll talk about that later, minus 5, and we need the exponent, so hit the exponent button to the third power, 27. Number 21, again we see a big fraction, so we, we need to start off by having the big fraction first. Okay, so hit the fraction key. On the top, we have 72. That's it. Then we should go down to the denominator by pressing the down button. 6 square. So hit the 6, and we can do the shortcut. Square. Minus 2 times 3 to the second power. So minus 2 times 3 to the second power. So we can do the shortcut. So 6 squared minus 2 times 3 to the second power equal. That's equal to 4. Okay? And then 24. I have 25 plus 80 plus 80 divided by, I see the parentheses, parentheses 17 inside minus 12 inside and then close parentheses. We get 41. Next one, I have two sets of parentheses, but you should just look at this from left to right. I have the parentheses first, so open the parentheses, but then again, I have another parentheses, so put another parentheses. So we have 350 minus 287, and then close that parentheses for the smaller one, and then divide by 3, close parentheses, and then the whole thing to the second power. We can just use the shortcut to the second power. Equals to 441. Okay, number 30. You see that we have a big fraction first, right? So start off by using the fraction key. And enter the top. We have 3 square. So 3 square plus, I have 2 to the 6 here. So let's do 2. And then hit the exponent key right here. Six. And here is something that you have to be careful. Notice that the cursor is still in the exponent, and we are done with the, the exponent 6. We need to just do the usual subtraction. In that case, you need to press the right button to get out of the exponent place. So press the right button, then you get back to the normal place. And then we can continue by doing the 1, I mean minus the 1, and uh, for the purpose of demonstration, I will just do the 1 to the 5th power. So 1, exponent key, to the 5th power. I know 1 to the 5th power is 1 anyways, but I just want to um, you know, match what I have right here. Then, we are done with this, right? We need to move down to a denominator. But first, we need to get out of the exponent place by pressing the right button, and then press the down button to get down here. And then I can just do 36 minus the 8, and then the parentheses, and then the 3 plus 1, and then close parentheses. Exactly what I have right here. Equal 18. Equals to 18. Okay? And you can do a lot more, and then um, I'll probably do more videos later on to show you guys what this can do. But again, use the calculator to check answer for you not to do the questions for you. And then if you just want to um, turn this off, press shift and AC. Casio, that's it.